In today's video, I'll be taking something from a dollar store and turning it into something that I would love to display around my house. So I'm guessing we're making another uh, dollar store makeover video. Starting off with this today. Oh, it's a tea set. And it looks like it's for Barbie. That does not look like Barbie. Sweet Princess. Guess it's from the Sweet Princess line. So yeah, I was just scrolling around Dollar General and I found this set and already got into the case as well. Lost the audio from my showcase time. So here we are. Here are the tea set now, sitting here on my desk. Nothing is going on at the moment. Woo! What's this? This looks familiar. Placing the tea set on into the mold because I wanted to see where the tea set would go. Also, I wanted to see if they would fit in the mold as well. Got this big container that isn't in frame very well. Bring in the mat into frame. Hello there. This also looks familiar as well. Once everything is set up, I removed the tea set from the mold area and brought out some ever so familiar items. I'm using enough another crap kit full to make the plaster. Now the plaster that came from the not another crap kit was used up, so I bought a brand new plaster for the project. Not the same plaster, but it got the job done. Getting a right amount of plaster was a bit tricky since this is not the same plaster as the one from Jackie's craft kit. And I had a failed attempt. It was too watery and when I tried to remove it from the mold, it broke into pieces so I had to redo it again. But all of that was done off camera, so now that the mold and plastic is out of the way, it's time to focus on the tea set. I actually started off with sanding the tea set, but I don't think this set did anything to the set because it was still shiny even after some sanding. The only one that ended up semi-decent was the lid from the bigger teapot. Because it was also the easiest to sand. And I lost interest in sanding all of them. I wanted to get to the painting part, which was a complete waste of time. Well, not really a complete waste of time because I did give some grip to the painting later. I only added one layer to the white paint on top of each of the tea set. Once all of the tea set uh, well, dried, I brought in the base for the set. The successful base, that is. And seeing if the set was still fit. And once I was satisfied, I just quickly painted the base with grayish black paint. I wasn't going to do much with the base, so it's done for now. So back with the tea set. I brought out my air drag to sculpt in some character inside the tea set. So I just filled in the cup with, uh, well, just with clay. Probably should have filled them with tin foil. But alas, we can't travel back in time. So I didn't have a method for this. So I just pretty much uh, was everywhere with this project. Starting from one cup and moving to the next one. Because one was drying and the one, while I was waiting for that one to dry, I move on to the next cup. Yeah, I guess I'll say that with my method. It was quite difficult to sculpt for most of the video because of the bandage I had to wear for my finger. Some of the time ain't really that great for my hands. But despite this setback, I was still able to sculpt these figures. Now, these creatures, I guess I don't really know what they really are. I guess the some sort of dragon creature? But, but your guess is good as mine. I guess I really don't have a plan for these guys, but they turn out really cute. One looked like a cute mouse, another one looked like a cow, and one with a spike looked like... Um, well, I really don't know what he looked like. I did add two snake dragons in the teacup. I don't really know what's inside the teacup. I guess whipped cream, but I don't really know why whipped cream would be in a tea. I don't drink tea. Maybe this isn't tea. Maybe it's a sugar drink, like maybe coffee. Wait, coffee is not sugar, but it is caffeine. You can actually drink coffee with whipped cream. So I guess that counts for something. Once all the sculpture phases are done, it's time to finally get to the painting. I added so many layers of white paint onto these teacup because I think the cup was made out of some sort of plaster that is very shiny. It was pretty hard for the paint to stick to the cup. It was spreading the paint in a very strange way. Wish I got a photo of it, but I was way too focused on trying to cover that, well, strange spread that I didn't think of it. I did try to paint over the figure, but I stopped doing that because, well, it was pretty hard to see anyways because the clay is much brighter. But you can definitely see it, it on the cup and all of the other silverware. Once I managed to get a pretty good coverage on the set, it's time to get started with the color that I've chosen for the set. And I went with the flow for this project and picked red. Have no idea why I picked this color. Don't know why it was my first choice. I did however had to add many layers of this color, but not too much like the white paint. And after adding three to four red layers of red paint on it, I mixed a few colors together to add the gradient to the set. It didn't turn out how I wanted it, but it's alright in the end. Now that the cups and the other sets are done, it's time to finally get to the creatures. 
I painted them all black base and later added some dry brushing to them, which brought them out better in my opinion. And then I mixed blue color with a neon blue to get the pretty looking blue here. Blue, red, black, three of my favorite colors, all here in one video. Oh wait, I painted the eyes and, re and tongue red as well. Now it's complete. Before varnishing the cup, I did went back and fix some of them because black paint ended up on the cups. Not really a big deal, but I had to redo one of them. Then I varnished the cup with gloss va varnish, and before I added matte varnish to the creature, I added a white puffy paint to the whipped cream. Yeah, I, I um, I scuffed the whipped cream and then just ended up covering it up with uh, white puffy paint. I actually like how it like gave off this really cool bumpy effect, but still kind of look fluffy. I like it. It gave off that delicious look to it. However, I was working on another project during this video, and some pastel ended up on some of the glossy area of the puffy paint. I tried covering those area up later, but pastel were everywhere, but thankfully you can't really notice it. Now that was done, I added a layer of watered down matte varnish to these guys. Here's this recap of me fixing the puffy paint. Now we're back to the base for these guys, and I realized that the base isn't centered like it used to be. Huh, I don't know what happened here. So I broke the base just a little bit, and just to make it centered. I used super glue to make sure that the base stayed together. Probably should have put air dry clay or epoxy sculpt onto it. But it's too late now. I glued in the character to the final resting spot and they're finally done. After adding puffy paint to the area that I wanted to hide the crack. Now it's finally done! And they're finally done! I'm really happy how they turn out. They are adorable sitting in the te little teapots here. And I will be posting a few pictures of these guys on my Instagram page. Check out that out, that link down in the description below. Also, I'll be posting this on my Tumblr page if you guys want to check that out as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy the final result.